Welcome to Ladybug Wreath Studios today. I am Nancy Alexander of LadybugWreaths.com and I want to make a gorgeous wreath. I'm in the mood to make a sunflower wreath with a birdhouse. And I've got some flowers that I've pulled out here. That doesn't mean I'll use them all and that doesn't mean I won't decide to use something else. Yes, I did it. I went out into my yard <laughs> I pulled down one of my favorite birdhouses that's going in the wreath. It's processed because, oh, well, I was going to say, I've got to make sure <laughs> I've got a loop that will hold my birdhouse. And look, it doesn't always come together that easily, so if yours doesn't, don't worry about it. Just add some more honeysuckle or do some more loops. That is fitting in there great. And there's, there's another little hole up underneath there. I'm going to push some more. Um, you normally don't have to put this much moss and glue. But I'm putting a pretty big object in here that I want to stay. Okay. Sometimes, if you'll see that the head of your flower is going to be resting right near another stem, <clears throat> I use some of this little tiny coat coated wire. And I'm going to tie this sunflower head to this piece of honeysuckle. It just slides right down into the right place. Well, actually, you can go, the easiest way would be just to go to my website, www.ladybugwreaths.com. And on the right side, there's a link that will take you to my Facebook page. It will take you to YouTube and to Etsy. You can see the free videos that I've got on YouTube. You can see what I have, the wreaths that we have for sale on Etsy. Now, I have saved a special spot. And I don't know if you can see it really good or not. But it is right here. If I didn't put anything there, I'd have a hole all the way through here where I don't have anything. So it's the perfect place for a bird's nest. And it's going to be sitting sideways. So I'm going to use two these really long picks and I'm going to push them into the bird nest but I'm going to push them at angles. I'm going to push one this way and one this way. And then I'll cut the tops off and put some glue. This wreath has been fun. It's been fun because this is one of my favorite ones. I think I said that before. <laughs> Now look at all the different shades of greens all right there together. When you go shopping for your greens, don't try to match them. Because if you go outside, if you were to look out in out this big double window here at my garden, have all the different shades of greens. That's the way it is in nature. That's the way they they look the prettiest together. A darker green accents a lighter green. We have a beautiful sunflower wreath with hydrangeas and yellow birds and orchids and lots of grasses and a bumblebee. I think this one may have to go on my front door. Let me see. Let me hold it up so you can. Can you see that? This was really fun. And I know if you've already got this video and you're watching it, you're going to have fun making it too. You 
just got to find the perfect birdhouse. And you can find you can buy a new one if you want to, and you can get a little hand sander or some sandpaper and rough it up a little bit, or you can even rub some some artist paint on it, like burnt umber. Put a little bit on a rag and rub it on there to antique it some. But I know you'll enjoy it. I know you'll have fun. And I want to see your pictures of your wreaths like this after you make them.